to alter my lace here. Uh, it's going to be a triangle. So I'm going to find uh, three corners. Make a mark on the wheel. Okay, first corner I push up from the inside. So first corner. The second corner and the third corner. Okay, adjust a little bit. So this is the uh, triangular shape vase that I ordered. Um, I will wait till it gets a little bit drier, uh, maybe less than the uh, later half stage, and then I will try to uh, make a foot, make a feet out of it. Okay, this piece has been dry for two days because it's raining outside and uh, it's not driving too, not drying too fast. Uh, but uh, now the top is kind of like a leather hard, but the bottom is still, you can feel it's still uh, wet. Um, by this stage, uh, I usually uh, pedal the bottom a little bit so that I guess the bottom is still kind of like circle so I like to make it more triangle shape so I would uh, pedal a little bit
then uh, I'm using the wooden knife to cut to trim the bottom up a little so you can see that the clay is still uh, wet a little bit wet on the bottom part This is the park bottom roughly looking like. So I turn it upside down here. Uh, what I'm going to do is make a, a very special feet. Uh, like I have finished for here to show you what I'm going to do. Uh, probably you have uh, seen this piece uh, on my channel. And this is the finished part. And this is all the same process that I throw on the wheel and then alter to a triangle shape. And you can see that I'm going to make uh, the feet like this. And uh, originally it's a flat like this, and then I'm going to pedal, pedal, so that uh, the bottom will be like this. After I pedal down, you can see the feet. It looks like this, and uh, because the middle part here, this corner, is uh, sinking down a little bit, I like to uh, push it back out. So I turn it upside down. Okay, and, um, here I have a, a wooden stick. You know, uh, go inside and kind of push against the wheel top. Okay, put it, uh, push it a little bit more uh, because the bottom is still uh, uh, kind of uh, wet. You can see that this clay is still uh, squeezable. Um, the shape, if I keep on working it now, the shape will not, uh, not be good to uh, stay with the same shape. So I wait till it uh, dry a little bit more and then I try to trim. Um, I will show you how I finish it. Now I don't uh, put it on the wheel and uh, spin the wheel and trim it. They, this is just all hand trim, trim by hand. And, uh, I will show you the uh, trimming tool. I am going to use uh, something like this to uh, trim the, the side of it. This is called sure foam. It's a very good tool. And then uh, I'm using the knife, use uh, my free hand to carve out the, the clay. The foot. It's about a uh, little hard stage. As I told you that I'm using this short foam to trim the surface that uh, I can reach 
for the inside I'm just using the knife to trim When hand trim the foot, uh, you have to uh, carve it according to the uh, inside shape. And let me show you the uh, inside shape. I'm using a needle tool to uh, smooth the curve. And then finally I'm using a uh, tube, a copper tube. Try to get the uh, angle. It's, it's made up from the cylinder, and I tried uh, when I throw. I leave it a little bit thicker, so now I have room so that I can get the 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 corner out here. Okay, this is the uh, finish part that it looks like this uh, triangular base with uh, three feet. The bottom looks like this. Um, as I show you, uh, it was thrown from a cylinder and then I palm it. Um, the bottom looks like this. Um, here's the uh, inside. Maybe get it closer so that you can see how it looks inside. Um, it's all hand trim, not on the wheel. It just uh, use the shirt foam on the knife, and you can cover it all. Okay. Um, here is the uh, finished piece. It's uh, this is stoneware and that's porcelain, and that's the uh, the difference. And other than that, that the same process, the same throwing process, and the same carving.
Okay. Thanks for watching.